I'm here today because I'm launching a petition about the high fuel prices that our fishermen are having to pay. Fishermen from the Port of Loon have come to me and told me that a lot of their fuel charges now can make up to, take up to approximately 60% of their grossings. I'm here with Councillor Brian Gallopo, who's the local councillor for Lou. Brian, what's your, um, what have you been hearing about the fuel prices in Lou? Well, it's actually shattering for the local industry the way the costs have, um, have risen. It's absolutely essential for Lou that we've got a healthy and thriving uh, fishing port in the town. Just at a time when Lou day caught fish is becoming a very valuable um, uh, recognised brand name across the country for the fresh fish that's coming in, we're finding this sort of own goal as far as our local fishermen are concerned. Um, it's quite heartbreaking to see the, um, the fishing fleet tied up alongside if it's um, there's this Force 7 or uh, strong gale at Force, uh, Force 9 out there so they can't go out. But on this occasion, it would be tragic if they were tied up only because they can't afford the fuel to put in their tanks to go out fishing. Uh, local fishermen are already telling me now that um, they can't really afford to go out unless they've got reasonably um, good assurance of making a reasonable catch, because otherwise their fish that they bring in won't even, cost the, it won't even uh, get them the cost of their fuel. Uh, it's essential to, to Lou because um, we haven't got large industries, it's not a large industry controlled um, uh, uh, business. It is a family business, mainly local families who have even been fishing for generations. The boats are family owned, they're very ecological, um, they don't um, just uh, sweep up the seabed and, and disappear to another part of the country or somewhere else in the EU to, to land their stocks. It's a good local business and yet the, they are not, they have not got a level playing field. They, they, are, they are seeing fleets from overseas um, coming uh, to their fishing grounds with subsidised fuel, sucking up vast amounts of fish. Meanwhile, they're tied alongside simply because they can't afford the cost of the fuel. It's, it's something we can do something about, or rather the government ought to do something about it, but we're not really seeing that they're going to do anything at the moment. They need to listen. And what you can do, please sign the petition, click on the website and sign the petition online or alternatively, you can download a copy of the petition and get your friends to sign as well and return it to us. Every signature you get could help one of our local fishermen stay in business. Thank you very much.